Another day, another plain blue background check-in with my updates for today's progress towards speaking goals. Um, but actually, some of the stuff I've been doing today has been related to two of the sessions that I'm delivering next week, which are away from home. They're in person, one in Chester, one in Milton Keynes. And I've just been getting my head in the game for them. One of them has been sort of mapped out and planned out for a while now. And so I'm just sort of re inserting myself into that and then the other one is this one that just came out of the blue yesterday that I'm also very much looking forward to and I had a really good call with um, somebody else who runs other elements of their well-being program um, just a short while ago as well could be another interesting contact as well for some other stuff um, so I have been trying to kind of sketch things out and this is usually my starting point this is this is the plan for one of those sessions and then I've been so just again, sketching other stuff out here. Uh, this is my usual start point for, for anything like this, just getting it out on paper. Um, I think I wouldn't regard myself as being like ultra visual, but certainly it helps to have the different components and blocks mapped out like that. One of the sessions actually is 90 minutes, uh, sorry, is uh, three hours, the second one, the second day in Not Keynes, it's a full on sort of training day. And I've um, I've arranged um, a, a meeting with one of the late the lady who's organising the whole event the 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 offsite on Thursday because um, I need to really sort of get myself into the right game as to what their core objectives are um, because I, I know that she's going to be doing some um, other bits in the afternoon related to what I'm talking about in the morning so I've sort of finalised what I want to be covering. Having gone back through it now, I need to make sure that it's absolutely on point with what she needs to fix and match in with the rest of the session content. So there is, I, I'm at that stage at the moment with both of those um, pieces of work that I'm very familiar with, which is the, oh my God, I'm never going to get time to finish all this. I'm never going to, like, it's just a bunch of ideas and it's all jumbled up at the moment and there's no coherent structure or plan as to how it's all going to tie together and am I bringing enough stories in? Am I bringing enough information, facts in? Am I getting to do enough exercises and activities? That's where I'm at at the moment uh, with both of those and that's exactly how I feel before every single one of the new um, sessions that I deliver, whether it's online or in person. So I don't feel like there's anything different or new necessarily about that. But um, I also know that it's the reason I feel like that, as I've figured out, is because it forces me to focus and to make sure that I just get my head down and get this work done. I'm actually going to a, a speech writing workshop tonight at Toastmasters, Oxford Toastmasters are uh, putting on a workshop. And uh, I thought it actually sounds interesting because this is one of the parts of it. It's like it's not just about being a speaker. You've got to be able to create the content in the first place. And this is the bit that I struggle the most with. I always end up figuring it out, but it just takes me forever to do it, or that's how it feels. So I, I saw this come up. I thought, well, that sounds like it should be right up my street. So I'm going to go along to that this evening, um, maybe get some bits from that that I could also bring into it. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, that's been the, the, the focus for today. Um, so there we go with my check-in and update for progress towards the speaking goals. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.